we have petals in. We got petals! Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, ooh, they feel so good. Ooh, man. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I gotta tell you, I don't really feel like building anything today. Um, my brain's pretty tired. It's been a bit of a day, but then I thought, you know what? There's a lesson there, and this is a great time to uh, talk about that and put that into practice. And the lesson is that there are going to be a lot of times when you just don't feel like building. Um, and sometimes that maybe you just shouldn't build because, like, you know, you shouldn't drink a lot of beer and then build. That's probably not a good idea. But, um, you know, it's building an airplane is a... Uh, is a marathon and not a sprint uh, because you will get burned out so fast if you try to like sprint. Um, unless you're crazy, unless you're like uh, Mike Patey and you just don't sleep and you just build. Um, that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, the other lesson is that um, even big projects start with small steps. So like, for example, today I was looking at this uh, I was looking over kind of how to do the door sill thingy because I realized that we put this metal, uh, the steel L bracket on the wrong side. I think that's because we were following uh, John's home built help video and I think that was like an older way of doing it. So, um, so I'm like looking at, you know, how to do this and, and I just don't have the brain capacity to actually, you know, really sort through what I have to do here and the bends and marking things and I don't want to screw something up but you know what I do have the brain capacity to do and something that does need to get done before that project can even get started is um, deburr some stuff now these holes are pilot holes so I'm not going to deburr those but you know I mean I can I can uh, I can Let's see, does this one, oh, this one doesn't even have plastic on it, but, you know, it's got these sharp edges on here, on the, the straight edges, and this one has plastic on it, it's got a sticker, oh, fortunately, the sticker's on the plastic, which, that's pretty sweet, now I don't have to get that sticker off of there, um, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is one of the things I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and do some uh, stuff with the uh, pedals get some some of the pedals going cuz you know what if you if you get to a point where you're just like too you know tired to think about something big and complicated or you're not exactly sure what you know what the next project is to work on just work on whatever whatever you know you can do you know if you're like sure like okay I know I'm going to have to you know deburr these parts at some point so I'll just do that or like I know that you know, I'm not totally sure what everything gets connected to the, the foot pedals, but I can start getting all that stuff together. Like, you know, actually I've got a, I need to rivet the actual toe pedals onto the, or uh, the brakes, the brake, the, the toe brake pieces. I'll just show you. The toe brake pieces right here. Eh. You know, I've got to um, rivet these things on. Actually, I need to rivet these on as well. And, you know, that in order to do that, I need to get all the brake uh, cylinders and I need to, you know, pull, uh, bolt them in place on the, the, the brackets, the mounts there. So, you know, you got to kind of, I guess, the, I guess the, the main thing is like break down the steps and then do those little small steps if that's all you can do. Because you know what? You're not going to get to the big steps until you do the small steps. So... That's what I'm going to do. There we go. Tell you what, let me clean up this area a little bit. Get some things out of the way. Move that stuff over. Move this stuff over. Just like that. Put that over there, over there. All right, better. Better, okay. 
All right, good. Ooh, look at that. That's so satisfying. Oh, watch this. This is going to be great. That sticker is just going to come right off. Ooh! That was great. Oh, man. I tell you what. If they made stickers that just peeled off more easily or they just didn't use stickers, I think that would save you, like, a lot of time. Like, because I'm, I'm thinking about if in the future I want to build the stole version of this for myself, I'm, I'm thinking about how much time I would save if I just did not peel off all the stickers. So I don't know if there's some kind of like research out there as far as like whether it's bad to leave the stickers on. If you know about that stuff, leave it in the comments below. But I feel like you'd save so much time by not peeling off stickers. Now deburring, you gotta deburr. That's important. And speaking of deburring, ah, oh, there it is. <coughs> this right here is one of our favorite deburring tools. It's like an edge deburrer, deburrer. And so you just kind of slide it along there. And it gives you a nice, ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, so nice. Gives you a nice edge. Ooh, I'm gonna get some artsy angles. Is that supposed to be like that? Mm, me think not. Yeah, we got ourselves a little, uh, we got ourselves a little Humpty Dumpty right there, a little bump. Let's fix that. Okay, another lesson here. This is kind of a, in a minor way, but the other thing is it's usually best to just start on a project that you might feel like it's such a big project that you don't want to start on but you should just start on it because you'll probably end up getting caught up like spending time on things that you didn't think you'd need to spend time on so like just for example this is a small example but right here on this piece i thought i was just going to deburr the edges no big deal right but we got this big old bump and i'm going to smooth that out and so that's the kind of thing that like it's going to take more time because I got to file this down. Actually, I don't know if I have to file it down, but I want to file it down. I got to smooth it out at least. Oh yeah, so smooth. Ta-da! Nice. Let's get that out there. All right, so now we're gonna deburr it in the other direction because usually what happens is you can't get all the way to the edge of like the opposite direction that you're deburring. So if you go the other direction, you'll get all of the ends and all of the edges. There we go. So now we have some nice smooth edges there. And then we'll get this side as well. There's a, uh, get a block. Let's do it like this. And if you don't get the angle just right, it'll kind of do like little bumps, which is not really ideal. You just kind of want to use light pressure, just kind of slide across. Because you see, it's got these two little like wheel cutter thingies. They're not actually wheels, they don't move, but they're circular. And so it gets the edges of the, uh, of the metal. Since I don't have a sticker on here anymore, I just to make things easier, perhaps in the future, 
I am going to put the part number. So this is C75N1-3. I know it's for the Cruiser 750, so I'm just going to put N1-3. Just like that, and then I'll do the same over here. All right, now I'm going to get all the stuff together for the brake cylinders. So for the hardware, we need an AN3-11 uh, bolt with castle nuts and cotter pin. And I'm not going to cotter pin it right now because who knows, I may need to remove it at some point. And I don't think we're going to find, let's see, 3-11. 311, 3-11, all right. And that's going to do it. All the other... We bought the secondary brake option kit, so uh, that should have hardware in there. So we've got that hardware. Uh, okay, this should have everything. I think we put all the brake stuff together. Yells. Ooh, okay. Cool. So let's let's put this over here so we don't get it all brake fluidy. Make sure we make sure we have everything we need here. So this is this should be all the what is this dual brake hardware um hmm well there's those tiny cotter pins awesome what are these for oh well they're for something obviously and brake lines, I like it. Oh, more hardware. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this hardware for? Oh, duh, okay, yeah. Uh, that must be for this. Right, duh, at the top, okay. Right, okay, I wasn't even thinking at the top. AN3-7. Okay, so we're going to need the shorter ones for the top. Duh, okay. Well, let's get those bottom ones on there first. Let's see here. This one's got some nice uh, brake fluid on there. And this one's totally... No, no, totally clean. Almost totally clean. All right, I'm going to glove up because I don't really feel like getting brake fluid on me. Oh yeah, these gloves are awesome. These mechanic mechanics fast fit gloves. I haven't actually worn these particular ones with the yellow, but generally the fast fit ones, they're great. Fantastic uh, general purpose gloves. They make great driving gloves too. Now, we have the these ones came as the uh, passenger side brake kit, and then these ones came as just the, the standard brakes. Is there a difference? I haven't actually looked into this yet, but if you happen to know, leave me a comment or something. Um, is there a difference between these ones and these ones? I mean, obviously they look different. I like these more. They look way cooler. They're very slimline. These, I mean, they're not bad, but they just, you know... I don't know, these look pretty cool. They look like a real piston. And these, not so much. I don't know, but I'm gonna install these as the pilot side, and these as the co-pilot side. So let me know if there's a difference between these two. Are these like, not as good? Or are they just different? Put these guys in. Uh, I'm definitely glad that we did not put anything, you know, up here yet. It's probably good to get to these things I mean it makes it a lot easier to get to these things I guess it'd be even be easier if we hadn't put any of this stuff on but you know whatever this is pretty good as it is all right so we've got these ones and let's see oh so this actually rotates so that so we can pretty much oh wait hang on I was just thinking about this. I gotta figure out which where the brake lines are gonna go out. How are the brake lines gonna go out exactly? Because now that I think about it, the passenger brakes are gonna have to tie into the pilot side brakes. Oh, if I were actually if I recall correctly, 
the power. Ooh. Hmm. All right, I need to look at some drawings and things. What would I have done with those? Not that one. Let's go to our stuff. Okay, not that one. Uh, it must be, ooh, it must be, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, okay. It's here somewhere. It's here and I'm gonna find it, man. I am gonna. Uh, stand by. Ta-da! I think um, after much digging around the garage and, and then also online and kind of going down rabbit trails and stuff, I think I finally found a picture of, uh, of the drawing that was supposed to come, or, I mean, I think it did come with this kit and I just misplaced it. But uh, anyway, all I was really trying to figure out was which way I should point the brake cylinders. Because it, or, yeah, because it had not occurred to me that that would matter until just now. So that's, there's another lesson for you is a lot of times you don't even think about how something is going to be until you actually get your hands on it and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Also, it occurred to me, or I, I kind of slash found out, see, I told you I was, I told you my brain was tired, is that, uh, you know, these ones have your reservoir. So that's your reservoir right there. And then... On these ones, it's these are just uh, slaved, so to speak, to the master cylinder. So the way that this is going to go down is you're going to have your, <clears throat> and I guess you could, I think you could do it either way, but you're going to have your passenger side over here, and these ones are going to point this way based on the, like the drawing that I could tell, because what you got to do, and then this one is going to point that way one's gonna point that way because you're gonna have brake lines um, yeah now that I think about it you're gonna you're just gonna have the brake lines going from this one the right side brake to this one and then so it's gonna go into this one and then out to the right right hand uh, brake line so yeah I guess you probably want these to be sideways so that way you have the maximum amount, amount of room for the brake because or the brake lines because you wouldn't necessarily want them pointing this way because then you know as you move it you're going to be like pushing lines up against there so that's probably best to mount it like that all right let's mount these things yeah let's do it what size is that i don't even know boom three eighths done it again need a little wrenchy wrench there we go This is a little bit awkward trying to get in here. Alright, so we've got, let's see, we've got this one right here. And I suppose it's good the way that they're offset like this because this way you get your, your brake line coming out is not going to be in the way. Or it's going to, this, the, this cylinder is not going to be in the way of your brake line. Let's see if we can actually get this thing through here. bit of persuasion nice so those just rotate freely on there we're gonna get our washer nut They're pretty good right there we don't want them to be tight or anything not not too tight of course eh, I don't know if we want we'll see we'll see how that we'll see how that goes want to make sure that we have good travel I think Let's see, I know I ground these down a bit. I'm not sure if I ground them down enough, though. I really hope I did, because I really don't want to have to change that. But So we have some a good amount of travel rotationally. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. And sometimes the other, th the other lesson here, I guess, is that uh, you might not... It might be a good idea to put in items that you might think don't even have anything to do with anything else um, because a lot of times since this is an airplane 
everything has to do with everything else. So, you know, depending on how these fit in here, are going to change, you know, how you put your pedals in or um, where you need to put other certain items. So that's why it's it's good to do at least kind of like a, a test fit and just kind of get a feel for where everything goes. Alrighty. Honestly, I'm not sure if it matters how much wiggle we have, side to side wiggle. I mean, we don't really want to clamp these tight. I don't think that would be, that would not be a good idea. Anyway, cool, those are in. So that's something, I did something today. <laughs> All right, let's set these rudder pedals in here just to get an idea of kind of how it's gonna be. So notice I uh, labeled them. So this is passenger side, forward, got this right here so this one's gonna go right there this one it's gonna go right here in there notice I had to uh, remove the uh, the uh, uh, powder coating probably removed more than I needed to but I had to remove the powder coating so that it would um, fit well in here although in hindsight no, nah, that's probably good. That'll be a better surface for it to rotate on. We'll just keep that nice and greased up. All right, look at that. Okay, we're coming together. Oh my. All right, we are. Come on now. Oh. oh. Well, don't you go in. What is problem? What is problem? Man, sometimes, sometimes you just have those days when you're like, you know what? I think it's, oh my gosh. All right, I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid right now. But you know what? I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this in. Um. Okay, why did I do it like that? All right, so. Obviously this is not fitting because it's upside down. For some reason I put the bolts like a while ago when I put when I kind of put this stuff away for a little bit. I put the bolts in that way. I don't know why exactly. Oh, I know why because I think was because I I had just this one set in there. So anyway, just another example. Um, if you're building when you're tired, just be extra careful. And don't do anything permanent, okay? Good grief. I think all my credibility is just gone. Okay, so... All right. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, ooh, they feel so good. Ooh, man. Look at that rotation. We got some... Wow. Oh, we have pedals in. We got pedals. Oh, that's so cool. Tell you what, though, when all that junk is in there, it really makes the really makes the whole cabin seem a lot shorter. Um, but it's kind of cool because uh, it's kind of cool because um, well, it's cool because you can you can actually visualize like, oh, my my feet are gonna go there, my butt's gonna go there, my head's gonna go somewhere around here. And we're going to have our dash right here, which, by the way, now I am, well, I'll probably, I'll make another video talking about that, but now I'm, I'm totally not sure what we're going to do for our panel. I, I don't know. I'm all over the place. Uh, mainly, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to integrate the engine monitor systems and just like what we want, what we don't want. I realize we don't want the advanced panel anymore because I just there are way better options like cheaper options more bang for your buck um, and now that I actually know about more about the avionics stuff uh, I have a better understanding of actually what's involved and um, and kind of how 
I'm just not as intimidated by it, which is really good. Anyway, that's for another time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to stop there for today because um, I'm just kind of beat. But you know what? We did something. Um, we, we, we got... We did some things that we were going to have to do anyway with deburring and, and kind of getting these pedals figured out, and we're that much closer. Um, and, you know, that's what, that's what counts, is we, we actually did something, and we started we started kind of the, the chain reaction, the chain of events. So, so now, it can, you know, we can kind of really start to get thinking about more things, you know, about brake lines, and, and uh, that will really help. Because, in fact, right now I'm thinking like, oh, I see what those holes are for. These holes right here. I was always like, what are these holes for? Well, probably that little one is for your brake line. I'm not sure what's going to go through here. I mean, we're going to have to send some electrical stuff back here. Um, you know, uh, let's see, wires for the, for the lighting, you know, nav lights, uh, beacon, uh, maybe a landing light, depending on where we put that. Uh, the the flapper uh, flap motor so all kinds of stuff anyway thanks for joining me once again um, hopefully this maybe encourage you to just keep on building even if it's just little bitty baby steps see you next time oh and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more stuff like this and hit the thumbs up and all that sort of stuff and share this with all of your aviation friends um, and we'll just blow this channel out of the water and it's just going to explode and be just amazing. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. All right. See you next time.